Okay, time for a story, and I thought today we'd read The Emperor's New Clothes, um, which is one of my favourite stories because it's just a very, very silly story. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Once upon a time, there was an emperor who loved clothes. He liked looking splendid all the time. He had a different outfit for every day of the year. But the emperor had a problem. He had nothing to wear for the royal procession. Won't any of your outfits do, your highness? asked his servant Boris. No, said the emperor. I need a new outfit and I need one now. And remember, it has to be splendid. Boris sighed and set off to find the finest clothes makers in town. He wasn't having much luck until a little round man and a long thin man rushed up to him. They bowed with their bottoms in the air. We are slimus and slick. At your service, they said. Boris took them to the emperor. We make magic clothes, Slimus told him. Only clever people can see them. Stupid people can't. Are they splendid? asked the emperor. Very splendid, promised Slick. But very expensive. We'll need pots and pots of money. Take all the money you want, cried the emperor. Just make me those clothes. A week later, the Emperor and Boris went to see Slimus and Slick at work. Welcome, they said. What do you think of our clothes? The Emperor gulped. Boris gulped. Neither of them could see a thing. But they didn't want to look stupid. So the Emperor said, splendid. Yes, really very splendid, said Boris. Oh, um, most splendid, added the footman. As soon as everyone had gone, Slimus and Slick laughed and laughed until their faces turned purple. They ordered a huge feast. It's hungry work making magic clothes, they said. Have they really made any clothes? No, they're tricking them, aren't they? On the morning of the royal procession, the emperor couldn't wait to put on his new clothes. Here is your cloak, said Slimus. It's as light as a feather. Oh, your highness, said Slick, you look very handsome. Your clothes fit so well. The emperor admired himself in the mirror. Don't I look splendid? Uh, yes, your highness, gasped the footman, staring straight at the emperor. Yes, your highness, said Boris, staring straight at the ceiling. He was trying not to look. Open the palace gates, ordered the emperor. Let the royal procession begin. The crowd gasped when they saw the emperor. Everyone had heard that, the, that only clever people could see his clothes. Aren't his clothes splendid, they said. Amazing, extraordinary, fantastic, simply superb, splendoriferous, wonderful, magnificent. Let me see him, called a small boy who was stuck at the back of the crowd. Oh, said the boy. The emperor's got no clothes on. Faster than a spreading fire, a whisper whizzed through the crowd. The emperor's got no clothes on. The emperor's got no clothes on. The emperor heard their words. He looked down. Oh no, he thought. I'm naked. Then he blushed bright red. But I can't stop now. This is the royal procession and I am the emperor. So he held his head high and walked on. The crowd clapped and cheered. They thought it was the most splendid royal procession ever. And there's... I think, is that... The, yeah, that's, the, that's him running away at the end. So Slimus and Slick, they tricked him, didn't they? And he fell for it. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that story. It's a very silly one, but I do like it. Okay, bye.